Cutter B block. It's uh, towards late March. It's about the time I would normally put out my mason bees. And from my understand from crown bees, this is when I want to open this up, clean them out, clean any parasites out or anything like that. This will be the first time I've ever done this with leaf cutter bees. We'll we'll see what happens. Just put some gloves on just to keep any from any oils in my hand or anything getting on them and see what's in the block so let's let's get started take the band off these big rubber bands on the blocks and take the back off oh look at the back there well you can see that oops well that first one came right off see in the back here all the all of them full up in there. I'm real pleased with that. Looks like there's going to be a lot in there. So let's get go ahead and get started. Obviously, you need to be careful because they fall right apart. The mason bees here were kind of stuck together, so I was surprised. Now these are all like just empty empty leaves and cocoons at this point. We'll be finding more than that. Put the backing up here, and I want. I take these apart. I want to just lay them right over so I can put everything back in the same in the same order. Get some paper towel to scrape things off onto so I can gather them up. Nothing there. This one's a little more stuck. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Look at all those cocoons. That's awesome. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to use a little Phillips head screwdriver just to gently, let's see, I might try it with my fingers. I'm just going to gently scrape those off there, I think. Yeah, they'll just come right off, I think, if I just, yeah. They'll just come right out. I'm real pleased not to see any, uh, mites or anything like that so far look real clean okay i'm just going to keep doing that breaking those off gently as i possibly can and laying that one down over the top. Here's some more on this side. Scrape those off. Those are just plugs there, yeah. Those are just lots and lots of all those petals of leaves. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? Just plug that right up. So we'll go ahead and separate all these out. They're coming off real nice. Since much resistance, it's so much cleaner than the mason bees I've done before. I'm really pleased with that. Right, that one off. Oh, I got some purple, purple flowers here. I'll kind of sort through all these later. Continue doing that all the way through. So I'll be back with you in a little bit. Okay, back with you here. <clears throat> Just wanted to show you something as I'm opening them up and getting down towards the bottom. I found some, I don't know if you can see them, there's some kind of larva in here. See that? Several there and 
whole kind of area above them that was all eaten out. So this is, I guess, why you do this, to get stuff like that out of here. You can see that little larva is right there. On here, it looks like they've gone in and eaten what was in there. So we'll get that all cleaned out. Dispatch those, at least keep those separate from what I'm doing here. But so far, it's going pretty good. I did want to point out one interesting thing I find kind of fascinating is at the end how they do all these little pieces. That's pretty pretty interesting how the different colors. Pretty amazing. Okay, I'll get those cleaned out and be back with you. Okay, we've gone through just about the whole stack. Still getting one of these. That's other than that, those one larva. I haven't seen anything else. Still running into these big sections of just just petals. Seems to be, if I'm just being real gentle popping those out of there, that seems to be working real well. Okay, down the last one I do see a couple of dead uh, bees here. There's one there, one there. They gave it their all. Just finish these up. Put those little girls over here. These are definitely leaf cutter bees, nothing else. Okay, nothing there. Okay, that went all the way through the stack. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get these all cleaned up and separated. I'm going to put them in this saber bag. That's what the original ones came in. I think they'll fit in there pretty good. I think I might have to get a bigger one here pretty soon, but uh, I'll put them all in there for the time being. We're going to keep them someplace cool for a while longer. It's still I'm in the northwest, so it's still pretty cool here. We rarely get to 50 degrees during the day so far, uh, but it'll warm up pretty soon. But I'll keep them stored in a cool place for now, and hopefully when the weather warms up a little bit, I'll get them out, and they'll uh, come out of hibernation. I'll have some uh, good bees for my garden. Okay, we'll be back with you. Okay, what I do now is I got all the blocks emptied. There's all my, all the cocoons. We'll set them off. I'm gonna go back and through and clean the blocks. I'm gonna use a stiff brush and just use this Phillips head screwdriver just to clean out the individual tubes here. Everything cleaned up. I'm not really, again, I'm not seeing any evidence of mites or anything like that I'm too concerned with other than those few larvae. And consider that good. So we'll just go through and I'll set that one off to the side and we'll just get these cleaned up. before. If you have any comments or a better way to do it, just let me know. Put them in the comments below. I'd love to hear more. Okay, I'll keep working on this. Okay, final product. Got the block all cleaned out. Put back in the house, ready for sometime this summer. Cocoon and all the waste product. We'll get that all cleaned up. Alright, we'll see you again when we put the bees out or sometime before. If we have something else going on with the bees or some other project. Thinking about doing some other things, so stay tuned.
Thanks a lot for watching. Bye now. This is Old Shirts Outside. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.